Brady was 14 when he passed away, and he was actually 10 years old when we first um, when he first got diagnosed with with brain cancer. And um, so we were just kind of cruising on normally with life and whatnot, and um, just a series of kind of medical things caused us to kind of go into the doctor and see what happened, and they immediately saw that he had a tumor in there. And they said, your doctors on the phone would like to speak to you about the results of this exam. And that's when my heart dropped, and um, I think that I um, was really shocked by the whole thing and just trying to regain, just to gain my composure back because I had many little ones with me. And I remember they, I tried to explain it to my children and I said, well, there's a, a mass of tissue in Brady's brain. And then one of my kids said, does this mean we're not going to a want it? <laughs> He was just a really neat kid, and um, not uh, really unusual in the sense of being unusual, but uh, um, he's just very bright, and he loved to read, and um, he loved sports. Well, in my experience, Brady was a little boy like every other little boy. You know, before he found out he had cancer, he was energetic, he was um, aggressive, he was just all boy. Um, but once uh, he found out he had cancer, and everybody knew that that was serious, cancer and that it was potentially lethal cancer. My, my understanding of Brady and every time I interacted with him was that he squeezed the next 15 years of maturity into those four years. And by the time he went to heaven at the age of 14, he was a very mature young man. His focus on the things of Christ changed dramatically. He actually was saved. He became a Christian. He found um, a strong desire for scripture at an, uh, really an unusual thing for a a kid who's 11 and 12 years of age, carried the Bible, studied the Bible, took copious notes, uh, began to think deeply about doctrinal things, biblical things, wanted to view the world the way God viewed the world, wanted to view his own situation, his own family, his own illness the right way. The divine perspective became all-consuming to him. He developed so much spiritually during that time. He really wasn't, we believe, a believer at the time that he was diagnosed. But over the course of the few years, he, uh, I think he had a lot of um, sobering events in his life that caused him to uh, examine whether he was in the faith or not. And I think that he came to realize that he needed Christ as his savior. And during that time, he was able to get baptized. And that was really amazing because having even a time where he could go do that during that kind of intensive treatment was truly from the Lord. So it was really exciting to see that change because we feel like that's, we were able to see the purpose that God had for it in his life. It's very important to say that we will never have an explanation for everything that happens. We will never have an explanation for every bad thing that happens because there's just too many bad things that happen in too many situations all the time, all over the world, throughout all of history. We'll never know that. But in a case like this, you can see the purpose of God and the glory of God clearly in this. First of all, it brought Brady to salvation, to eternal life. And, and as I shared with his parents, and his parents know this, a parent has, a Christian parent has one primary responsibility, and that is to raise your children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, to raise them to love the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, God comes in, in his wonderful grace and sovereign way, to aid the faithful parent in that wonderful evangelistic endeavor. We always knew, well, this didn't catch God off guard. You know, he's not surprised by anything that's happening. In fact, this is exactly what it, the will he wants for our lives. You, you still kind of are um, along for the ride in a sense, but it, you know the ending is always going to be, um, you know, for your good. You may not see it at the time, and it's certainly always for God's glory. And in the case of Brady, God in his providence allowed cancer to come. It was a component in awakening him to his sin and his need for a savior. And in the end, that's all a parent ever does anyway to bring ultimate joy. You could raise your child to 19, 20, they could graduate from college, go on and get a PhD, become a storied, uh, legendary influencer of society in the future, but if they die without Christ, then a parent who's a Christian is gonna have a huge, aching 
hole in the heart. But in the case of Brady, his mom and dad are filled with constant joy because all that you can ever ask out of a parent is that they would do everything they could to influence their child to faith in Jesus Christ and and by the grace of God that happened and and he's with the Lord so in this case you can look and see the glory of the Lord you see it in the salvation of Brady you see it in the influence on his parents their testimony enhanced and enriched and and the way they're able to give God glory even in the loss of their child is a, is a tremendous strength to other parents who go through the same kinds of things um, he was the most exasperating child to a parent <laughs> Between my three children, I think he was the one that grieved me the most as far as his acts and attitudes of disobedience. But it, that's what I think really made it special when he came to know the Lord because you could see that transformation in his life. Oftentimes when someone is raised in a Christian home, they, there's not a dramatic before and after sometimes before they come to know the Lord. But for him, you could see that the Lord really softened his heart and that he gave them the desire to do what would be pleasing to God, not just himself. And so that was really exciting to see that the dramatic difference between his being headstrong and selfish and always had to be right and proud to um, really the Lord broke him to the point where he realized that he was nothing uh, without the Lord. And so that was really for us to see one of the most uh, wonderful things a parent could ever witness and experience.